Now, moving on from that, the Commerce Ministry of the last one year has been working rather hard to give a new lease of life to special economic zones across the country. After the economic slowdown made several operations at SEZ, it's a little difficult to continue. One of the major initiatives was to declare the entire area under the special economic zones as infrastructure facilities, thereby making it easier for them to get capital for investment. The Ministry has now initiated yet another step by working on a plan to deem at least the power units within these special economic zones as infrastructure facilities that will make life easier for manufacturers that require large power units for their operations. Here's Dev Tata Das with this exclusive report. Special economic zones, once a sunrise sector of the Indian economy, is in for some more good news. Following the Commerce Ministry's efforts to give these industrial zones infrastructure status, the Ministry is now working towards providing infrastructure status to power units within the processing areas of the SEZs, a move that will open up greater avenues for investment, including access to external commercial borrowings that so far have been hard to come by for power units in the processing areas. The biggest beneficiaries of this move being Reliance Industries' Jamnagar SEZ and Adani's Mundra SEZ, both in Gujarat. Once these are treated as infrastructure facility, then such power facility will not be subjected to the requirement of achievement of net foreign exchange earning. Reason being that once it is being developed as an infrastructure facility by the developer, developer is not an exporter, developer is not required to achieve net foreign exchange earning. It may also spur India Inc.'s interest in setting up more power units in special economic zones, thus boosting business in these industrial districts. Whether it is ACJ or, or captive power plant, whatever way we generate more and more power and it comes to the grid, which is definitely beneficial to the country because this shortage and demand supply, gap, supply and demand gap, this has to be bridged because, because after air and water, electricity is very important. This move comes at a time when most SEZs have suffered a setback due to the global economic slowdown, with only close to 100 of the over 500 approved SEZs functional. While the Commerce Ministry is burning the midnight oil to make operations easier for the SEZs in the current times of global economic slowdown, it remains to be seen whether the Finance Ministry also endorses the same view, extending the tax holidays given to the SEZs in the upcoming budget. In New Delhi, Devdatta Das, NDTV Profit. Tubar.com.